Well, good morning to you. I'm Max Stevens. I buy old records. Sometimes I drive long distances to get them. That's what we're doing today. Well, that's what I'm doing today. Ain't no we. Don't even have a rat in my pocket to make that claim. So, uh, I'm heading way out west. Going to hit some uh, places out there that are no have records. Then I'm going to stop at a lot of places that I hope have records. Ah, uh, yes. Where there's hope, there might be records. Well, I've reached my first start in place for the day. Got an antique mall also across the street. Let's go in and see what awaits. I think they've got some records I can look at. All right, thank you. Well, okay, I've got some stuff squirreled away at the shop, but then they've uh, let me come over here to the warehouse and look at more records, and it's just cool stuff. I hear Miss Kitty somewhere in the background. Hey, Miss Kitty. I'm gonna go to get the lights. Hey, Miss Kitty, how you doing? Miss Kitty has found me, and I'm very, very pleased. I remember her from my last trip or two. Last time I was in here. She is the guardian of all things electronic. And that's a good thing. But the rat population is kept at a minimum, isn't it, Miss Kitty? Huh? Huh? What do you think? What are you reaching for? Yeah, you are. Okay. Time to start looking. I'm not starting with where all the main things of records are. I'm going to come over here to the side where maybe... I haven't looked before. Maybe nobody else has. In fact, there's a weird one by Weldon Myrick. Steel Guitar Wizard from West Texas. I'll play that. I bet it's just straight country. He did a lot of hits for Alabama back in the, I don't know, 80s or so. But before that, he did some incredibly great things, including Moo Mama by Ben Hall, his cohort. And, uh, well, in fact... Ben Hall was the producer of Alabama and such. Weldon was the steel guitar player. And in fact, this one says director Ben Hall. But they did Moo Mama out in West Texas, probably in 1955 or so. And if that's all they ever did, they're guaranteed a place in record heaven. That's just a great, bizarre steel guitar led Bach thing. All right, enough jabbering, jibber jabbering. I know it's a Paul Anka record, but he's got one that's just a fantastic uh, Northern Soul record. I mean, just wonderful. And it still sells well, so it all behooves me to look at the uh, records from Paul Anka. On RCA, that is. I really don't check out the others. I leave those for the other folks. All right, got some sleeves to throw some records in. I'm going to do a quick wander around here with Ms. Kitty, who is just shadowing my every move. Okay. Stray box of 45s. So far, nothing. Miss Kitty's keeping watch. Oh, she is. She's, she's, just, she's a foxy little tail, aren't you, baby? Yeah. You rub on my legs and you want to, and you don't care where you're going to get it from. No, you don't. Here you go. Here you go. Rub yourself on my shoe. There you go. To heck with the records. We're going to do an hour of loving on Ms. Kitty. Now, nothing in that stray record box, but <sighs> got to go through a lot of stray record boxes before you hit the one that's got the Moo Mama or something hiding in it. I'm especially looking for uh, Daryl Rhodes out of this town, Abilene, because uh, he did some really great and great and rare things for Winston Records out of Abilene. Label owned by Slim Willett. He was a country singer, don't you know? Back 40s, 50s, 60s maybe. He did a lot of great things, but he started this label and he was open to recording that new music called Rockabilly. Oh yeah. So, 
he set up shop here and uh man he recorded some nice rare stuff i found some more 45s i'd walked by earlier oh my yeah look at that that's a bunch ronnie hart crazy oh yeah yeah i know that one that's a local dallas that's uh oh cool well we've got a bunch of small label country there i'm just gonna put them all there i'm i'm pretty sure i know them all and they're not what i'm looking for but i will play them lots of things look at that earl hooker can't go wrong with him even in lesser shape like that earl now women's lib blues okay we'll have to play that a lot of these weird country Ooh, look at that wow carol sue perkins and the voice of the hills well we're going to play that i was saying though there's a whole lot of uh socially relevant records made especially in the 60s where they were you know complaining about this and that and the other the war the lack of patriotism the too much patriotism just everything in between hot pants burning your bras things like that this is going to be one of those burning your bra records probably anti okay we'll check out that Johnny Patterson, will you look at there? You ever find the first terrible Max Stevens record, because there's been many, you'll find that lead guitar was played by Johnny Patterson. He played for Bob Wills, Charlie Pride, but in the 50s, in Abilene, he played for Don Fager. Made a couple of, well, there's Slim Whitman, or Willett, sorry, on uh, Winston, one of his country things, I'm sure. Anyway, Johnny played for B Don Fager, and made two perfect rockabilly records. Well, one perfect, one almost perfect. And damn, it was great. Then, just a few months after they made their second record with Don, Don's wife made him quit the record uh, playing business. He was a great big guy, probably about six seven, six eight. Very nice, genial dude. And uh, she said, that's no kind of future for us. I need you to uh, go to work in this uh, refinery over here, not far from town. Steady, good pay. Got blown up in, a, in an explosion about three months later. Made Johnny just sick. Just He'd about tear up every time I'd talk to him. So anyway, he played with me on my first record. And uh, it was, he was a great guy. Johnny died back in 2010. He was just a very fun guy, full of talent. But wasn't a, uh, well, he wasn't a butthole like a lot of people with talent. If you ever meet somebody talented, you may find that out. Most of us never get to do that. Well, getting better and better. Found one of my favorite things uh, on Sun. Not particularly valuable, really. It's a decent record. Miller Sisters, though, 10 Cats Down. It's, it's their one attempt at rockabilly. And it should have flopped miserably. And it was marvelous, wonderful. It was good. So I'm going to keep looking. I'll come up for air every now and then and show you something. Got to go back to Ms. Kitty for just a moment. Listen to that girl. Can you hear that? That girl is purring. You know, I got to go out and get me something, bring you back something to eat. You're just too precious. This is one of my favorite country records. It's called Hillbilly Man by Carl Stevens. There he is in the picture. It's country, but man, this thing just rocks and moves. It's got acoustic guitar lead, but it's got tons of echo, that sun-styled echo that they were famous for. I like that. I feel, I, I, I've probably got half a dozen copies. I'll buy another. Well, it's cool. I've got a big stack of old-timey country here. Nothing I need saw a cool one by i thought it said the vagabonds but no it was the vagabonds so i apologize to the vagabonds for mispronouncing their name Alan Brothers. kelly harrell see one that turns you on let me know i can always come back but condition on these is of paramount importance and i do hope to find a paramount i would love it or a black patty record you really want to find Black Patty records. Oh, yeah. I believe it was the first black-owned record company. And 
tell you what, they had talent, they put out great music, and they're rare, rare as can be, for the most part. Like Sun, a lot of people pay a lot just to own one of some of the early issues. But it's one of those ultimate great collectible labels. Hmm. Buell Casey. Okay, I'll play that one. Yeah. Two or three here I'm thinking about. We gonna play them. I don't know who the Phil Crow trio is, but it says orchestra, but I'm still going to give that a spin. The Atco Quartet. Sounds like gospel with piano. Earl Johnson. I'll play it, but it looks rough as rough as alum, as the old blues singer said. Gainus Brothers. Okay, we'll play that. I don't know what a G A N U S. Insert your own uh, quip there. I don't know. Maybe it's Ganoose Brothers. Ooh, I like that. Sold. Country Gospel. It's a quartet, yes, or something, but yeah, that's nice. It has a guitar with it. This one is Earl Johnson and his Dixie something or others. Entertainers, I think. Plays loud and proud to me. Phil Crow Trio, Mystery Deck. That's not half bad. Maybe three quarters, but not half bad. I've got the Fox Chase, and oh, I'll have to look this one up. I don't know if I need another copy. Poor boy, a long ways from home, Buell Kazee. <laughs> you'd, you'd just have to have no soul at all to not like that one. Bill Helms. I think I've got this one at the house in better shape, but... Ooh, that's miserable. Gotta look that up. Remember that Carol Sue Perkins? Ah, sometimes it pays to play the things. Isn't that right, Miss Kitty? Yeah, that's right. Ah, she's a sweetie. So this place just goes on and on. I had to go check on the door because I thought I heard somebody, but I did not. So I'm uh, back here looking at 78s. Hadn't found much, but I mean, you know, I'm here. It's not air conditioned, but it ain't bad. So this is what we're going to do for a while. Yeah. Me and Miss Kitty. Kitty, 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 kitty. She's right here somewhere. She's been dogging her cat in my my steps there she is hey baby bear Whew. man as comfortable and cool as it was in the shop it wasn't so bad in the uh, big warehouse it, it but it got a little steamy but i got to meet miss kitty that's the main thing when i come here i like to go over there so i can see miss kitty and i got some good records priced them fair I'm happy with it. He's happy. Life is good. And I'm going to continue on right across the street to the antique mall. Hit that. Go buy something to drink. Mm, not that kind of drink. I'm behind the wheel. But anyway. Well, all right. I found the local small indoor flea market. Been here a few times. Get my mask on. Found records here a few times. Not a long time, though. I'm still going to give it a shot. Charlie Rich, like me some Charlie Rich. I'd like to find some Daryl Rhodes. I keep talking about Daryl Rhodes records. 
you heard them, you'd understand. Look them up on YouTube. That's a good place to look at music. Then you'll hear Daryl Rhodes' record. Then you'll be right me saying, hey, man, find me one. I'll do my best. Well, all right. Went in there, walked around a bit, found one, G Giles Strange. Watch the people dance. Not in so bad shape. Supposed to be some sort of... Depends on whose uh, ad you believe on uh, Pop Psych. It could be a punk garage or it can be mod dancer. Whatever. But I, I thought for a dollar, let's do it. Let's keep going. Oh, that's cool. There's an M4 Sherman. Got a busted track. Dire need of uh, being rebuilt looks like it's got a little bit of uh, damage right there at the turret ring and it's got the welded patches over the places where they keep the, the uh, shells inside the sponsons that way the enemy knew right where to aim wasn't that nice but there's something else over here that looks kind of interesting oh no way <laughs> uh uh somebody has gone and built themselves a tiger tank turret. Oh, I have to get out and look at this. I don't care if I hold traffic up. That's just too cool. Well, apparently the uh, museum for the 12th Armored Division has been there all along. Never knew it. So I'll have to come back with my boy and we'll probably walk through it. Maybe I'll even force my wife to march through it as well and just bore her to death talking about armor thickness and horsepower and size of the main cannons and such. I like tanks, old tanks. That's just ever since I was a little kid. Not that I'm going to start a new channel called I Buy Old Tanks. I'd go broke real quick. A lot faster than the records, you know. Probably you could just sell the tanks on uh, Facebook. No doubt, there's probably a group or two where you can buy, sell, and trade old Shermans and such like that. That's for a different episode. All right, Frontier. Flea market. Been here many times. Can't remember the last time I ever bought a record though, but they've got records. Yeah, I bought a good 78 here once. So oh, two, three years ago. Me and old Gasty, a friend of mine from Argentina, came up to visit. Came out here and found some good records. don't know why I always start off to the right and work my way up. It's just what I do. Do it your own way. Seeing the same stuff I've seen before. Well, no luck there, but heck, I'm winning today. I've got some good stuff. I've had a good time. It's been moderately comfortable. Started out very comfortable, now it's just moderate. It's about 94 out there right now. Makes about a hundred, I don't know, 400 there on the asphalt, so. Hope I ain't got to walk today. All right, let's keep going. Small town time. Huzan, great news. I was figuring this place would have been closed. It was looked like it was closed down the last time I came through during business hours some months ago. Ah, looks like it's back in business. Real nice old place. Good people that run it. I found good stuff here for sure. Put down my windows a tad. Now it's the fun part of the day where I've got to uh, go out and look for records, but I've got to make sure I don't melt the ones I've already got. Hoo-hoo! <laughs> That's fairly pleasant in here we got fans on got the wind blowing through here it's quite all right warm hat so I'd be stylish don't you know all right don't see any 45s but Slim will it. Oh, that's in a bullet sleeve. I'm gonna buy that for the sleeve. 
Bullet was a company out of Nashville. The guy that owned it had a really early share of Sun Records that he sold right before Elvis came along. Good business move there. And I cannot believe it. Please don't be broken. Jimmy Johnson, salt your pillow down. Oh, that's nice. In its original old sleeve. Okay, as I'm pulling away from the Goodwill. Oh, and by the way, I'm an honest, nice guy. It was half price day on those, which would have made it a dollar. Instead, I gave them two dollars, said keep the change. I donate, I give back to the community. I'll probably be a dollar short in my life one time and just curse the day that I gave away a dollar. Well, that's 78. It's a great uh, country western thing by Jimmy Johnson, who uh, worked with Jack Rhodes' band out of Mineola, Texas. Jack and his family had an empire there. I think it was a uh, uh, drive-in theater, the 80 Trails Court, which was a motel, and Jimmy owned or had a room in that motel converted to a makeshift studio. And there he would record some great things. Jerry Hansen and him, uh, uh, Jimmy Johnson on Star Day. I did say it's Jack Rhodes that had the empire. Yeah, I don't want to say Jimmy Johnson had it. Jimmy was part of his empire, though, because Jimmy was a great vocalist, died kind of young, I think in the 60s, maybe, and um, was a fantastic singer. Didn't make many records, but they're all good. This one is, too. Hard to find, small Texas label, I think a Houston label. If you ever see a star day called All Dressed Up, Back, backed with woman love. Pick that up, send it to me. I've only found three copies in my life and I've sold them as fast as I could get them for mucho dinero. I'm glad I stopped there at that Goodwill. Last 20 times I've stopped there, nothing going, nothing doing. I'd buy a soft drink, you know, out of their scratch and dent box, you know. Ah, oh, today it paid off. I am heading back east now, back towards home and hearth. But I'm going to stop at every place I can in the two and a half hours of uh, time that places are normally open. Because I'm hitting, I'm finding. You don't just say, oh, that's enough, I think I'll just go home. No, you got to get greedy, get out there and get it all. You just, you don't go to the bathroom, you don't eat. You just hold out and keep churning, churning through the records. All right, I'm feeling cocky now that I've had a really good day. Let's go through... Tiny Town, Texas. They used to have some antique places. Both of those are closed. That one's closed. Used to be some good places here. Okay, there's one over there that says open. I'll go over there and check that out in a moment. We're going to do the town first, though. See if I can squeeze through the teeming crowds. It's a veritable Times Square. Oh, oh, what do we got here? <laughs> Let's go check it out. I don't know this place. Unless I've been here and just forgot. Could happen. Okay, nothing there. But I did get to look at a bunch of 45s that were on some long spindle thing. What should have taken 40 seconds of looking was probably about five minutes or six minutes. I don't get that time back, do I? Oh, well. Well, I mentioned the bullet label. There it is. But it's a pop series there. They did put out blues in the country. Very nice things. Let's just continue. Ah, if you look at just nothing old, nothing I hadn't seen before. Well, all right, we've reached the next tiny town. Forgot to turn on the camera when I came into it. I've seen these records before, but I got to test out a little record player here. Guy Lombardo. 
There we go. No. The light comes on. The turntable turns, but nobody is home. Oh well. I always check West Texas uh, school animals. Certain ones I'd like to find, especially the ones that have Buddy Holly or even Roy Orbison. Never found one, but they do exist. They're out there. Well, no records, and I didn't want to see what else they had because time right now is not my friend. I've got just enough time to finish this town, maybe hit one more town before the sidewalks all roll up. I don't know why I've still got that on in the car. I mean, if I've got a disease, then I've probably already contracted it from myself. Hope y'all are staying safe and being sane, not turning around in front of cars that are coming or anything like that. That's what I do. Not on purpose, I'm just a fool. Playing classic country music at the local stations. Ain't no country to that. Play me some Johnny Cash, Marty Robbins, Hank Williams. Play me no George Strait or any of that stuff. Garth Brooks. <laughs> Don't get me on my soapbox either. Same handful of records I went through the last time I was here. They promised they'll find me something someday. They better hold to their promise. That's all I got to say. They got birds dive bombing me. Look at this. I like this. Look at this. Meow. Almost got me that time. Meow. <laughs> that is so cool. I like nature. Ah. Well, I was about to ask about records. Here's records. Oh, that looks so good. Second copy I've seen today. It's terrible folk. Rebel label. There's Muley, the one-eared mule. Tells me I'm getting close to Dallas because there's a million copies of that thing in Dallas and its environs. Well, nothing there. Those Rebel records look good, but I made the mistake of playing them one time. Now, if you like folk music that's terrible, you'll love it. Not me. Bang. Get the glasses out for this. Okay, that's still running. Oh my, it's all new stuff. No. Run away, run away. Well, okay. Come game. Check it out. I want to find me some star days. Paramount, come on. Record jobs, I've been good. I'm going door to door telling everybody about the gospel of the record jobs. And have you, do you have a moment to talk about vinyl? Have you heard the older story about shellac? I do what I'm supposed to do. I don't know why I'm not being blessed in this place. Although I am greedy, having had such a good day to start with. Okay. That foolishness. All right. Pretty sure I've been through these. If I have, well, getting practice anyway, aren't I? Hmm. Uh, it's a good. Oh, it's okay. It's not great. Looking for the Carolina Playboys on that label. They're doing rockabilly before Elvis come along. Hmm. Local Dallas record. Riley Craft Street. Cripple Singer. Polio. Died in a fire in a single wide uh, 
trailer house. Couldn't get the window open. Probably back in the 60s or 70s, I'd say. He had some big hits, though. Hits is what I said. All right, nothing going. A lot of stuff to look at, but it all looks familiar. Well, cool, cool, cool. Might be the last little town we come to, Ranger. I found things here, but it's been a while. Sometimes I break a losing streak in one of these little towns and hit well. Doesn't cost me anything but time and a little bit of gas to come check them out. Would like to see a little antique mall have opened up. No, no, instead I get chiropractor, don't I? Ooh, everything from crackers to coffins at that mercantile closed. Well, it looks like Ranger has died. I think this is that little town that you turn on the tap water and out comes this brown sludge. And it's really not good for human consumption. And there's been a few news exposés about it. I think that's, what, that's where we are right now. Somebody put a glass of that stuff in front of the guy who was in charge of the water department. He had said it was safe, but he refused to drink it on camera. Okay, cool. Let's see what's at the end of town, then let's turn around and, and get on out. <sighs> okay, let's get on out. Well, I told you what. It is now 512. Things have closed for the day. I've got to find me some Taco Bell or something I've got to eat. Feel a little lightheaded and dizzy from uh, maybe some hypoglycemia kicking in. I haven't eaten much today and I've had a nice energy drink and a cup or two of coffee, so why doesn't Mac blink? He can't. <sighs> let's let's do a song here at the end. I'll sing to you. Just for fun. It's my own song. I don't know why. It's called The River. It's a nice amoral tale of murder, mayhem, and love gone bad like to hear it go. Well, it's springtime, they're singing, the church bells are ringing, I worry about where you might be. In winter, we parted, when cold weather started, the river, it took you from me. In Memphis, you fessed up, that one day you messed up, and lay with another in bed. And you thought that maybe you would have his baby Though we had just recently wed And there on the bridge of the river I settled it all fair and square And faced and you floated And Satan he gloated It won him a victory there and southbound you headed for long months I dreaded your torso would wash up ashore and I told your mother you'd left with another she nodded and called you a whore in dreams I still see you on the river way down way down past New Orleans the turtles and catfish do with you what they wish. I'll see you tonight in my dreams. I'll see y'all later. Bye.